Hello, creatives. Welcome to Artist Star. My name is Beth, and this is a daily pick a card and birthday reading for February 3rd. If you were born today after sunrise, you are a nine of spades. If you were born before sunrise, you are actually yesterday's card, which was a 10 of spades. All right, so I'm going to read each card, and then I'm going to read them all together for the collective. Then a special birthday message for you, Nine of Spades. This is your solar year card and your wish card. We're going to use the Creativity Oracle and my Cards of Truth, Spirit, and Nature deck. And this is the Wish Craft. So you can make a wish and we'll see what you get for an answer. So we're all looking through the lens of a Nine of Spades day today because we're all experiencing that energy. So if you picked card number one, you got the seven of diamonds. So if we're looking at this through the lens of a nine of spades, let's start there because the spades are remedies and cures. So we're looking for something that we need to embedder betterment for our life. And the nines are a very spiritual card. This is K2 energy, the south node of the moon. So we're looking at something from a past life that we've brought with us, some notion or idea that is fully ingrained. And we are going to get the opportunity. We're going to get some piece of the puzzle given to us today to take a different kind of view to look at it, some other diplomatic way of thinking about it that's going to allow us to release our old thinking and bring on some new transformation, some new connotations that we hadn't thought of before, and it's going to add a lot to our day. So be looking for that today as you experience your seven of diamonds in reverse. So it's going to come at you with some ungroundedness. The diamond suit are the grounded suit. So it's not going to feel, um, well, it will feel unsettling. It'll feel like um, a disconnect. You thought you had it and it is elusive and slipped through your fingers. It's uh, you possibly lacking the resources that you need. Something just isn't there for you. So this could be your skills, your talent, your financial abilities. Maybe you've misplaced your wallet. You know, it could be as simple as that or it could be... Um, not getting that upgrade at work or being able to um, afford maybe the new easel or tools or something like that that you thought you were going to. So you're to look at that and to really kind of dig in, pull that string, think of it in more of a spiritual sense that perhaps there's a piece that you need that you haven't gotten yet to really Fill in the blanks for you to get in the right position for just the thing that you need. So, yeah, because the sevens are all about letting go. This is that moments of um, something that needs to be brought to your attention. It's transformation at its finest. This is through Saturn energy. So it's you really getting a, a bigger lesson than usual, but it always ends up for the better. So you, in the end, will be getting exactly what you need when you need it. And just as soon as you can spot it and realize it, you can begin the begin of letting it go, sort of um, dismantling it, deconstruction in order for some deeper transformation to, to come in for you. Really, very great opportunity for you to do the thing right here. All right, so if you pick card number two, 
you got the three of hearts in the upright position. Very creative card. This is about your emotions being fulfilled. This is having that fertility come through for you and knowing that you're on the right track. But the threes are also that uh, energy of having to let something go in order to let something better in. You're going to be able to see what you need. It will, you'll feel it more than you'll see it. It'll be this aha moment. It might not be a big aha moment. The threes tend to be of a smaller uh, epiphanies, but it will bring something to you that is going to serve you better. That's really all you need to know about this three of hearts. Emotionally satisfying. You're going to feel the tug to let something go because you know something better is just around the corner for you. It's temperance energy as well. So think about Mars being that action oriented and that temperance in finding the perfect balance for you. So all good here. Yeah. Exploration and experimentation, intuitive finest. So if you picked card number three, you got the eight of spades. Wow, this will be tomorrow's card. <laughs> Interesting that it shows up here for the nine of spades. So for you, if you pick this card, this is going to be a very contemplative, very meditative day that's going to bring you to some very self-validating um, understanding of who you are at your spiritual core. You're going to get what you need of for remedies and cures through hard work and effort. Now the nines are what they call the yogi card. So again, incredibly spiritual here. It, it is uh, connected with the hermit. So the nine of spades is, and the eight of spades is connected to the chariot. So it is you getting it done. And if you just happen to be 42, this is the year that that eight of spades card really comes through. If you have it in your birth spread, or if it's up in your daily readings, if you pull a card and it's the eight of spades for you today, if you're 42, this is really when it hits home. So it's meditation. It is a timely timeout. It's the opportunity you're getting for that self-looking, that self-seeking, and you'll find that validation, exactly what you need. And the nine of spades is really going to add just that another layer of it being something that you had that piece of the puzzle that comes through for you to really deepen the whole thing. And you being able to overcome your ego, right? And rise to that challenge. It's a beautiful card to show up here. All right. So you are that nine of spades and it's your birthday. This is your solar card pitch. Be as clear, concise, and professional as you can be when you explain your ideas to potential associates. All the better to have that meditated on, don't you think? That way you are so sure about how to project what it is that you need to project. Oh, and you got the Jack of Clubs. This is such a great card for you to get here. A lot of hard work, but it is about knowledge. You are feeling this year, you are going to feel like you are in training for that queen or king position that you want. Whatever that is in, you are going to be able to get there from here. Just be precise. Do your homework. Do your meditation. Let it really sink in. Really, really embrace what it is that comes to you. Take it to heart. 
you will not be disappointed. It's going to be a lot to do, very fast paced energy for you. And as a nine of spades, it could be really spiritually um, related. And you may find that you've got more to let go this year than usual. And if you happen to be 42 and or around that and got this eight of spades, that is really going to bring that all the deeper home for you. Like I said, fast-paced Brahman energy here. You've got your aces. That's the sun. This is you being fully you, making those connections, that intuitive knowingness with the moon. It's a reflection of the sun. So this is you at your core and you at your intuitive best and putting it into action. Very one, two, three. You are going to... Um, have a very productive year. So what did you get for a wish card? You got Dance the Rainbow. I love to have beauty in my life. Yes. Oh, just really, really nice. Beauty in my life. And that you shall have. My goodness, happy birthday, nine of spades. This was a great reading. I hope you enjoyed it. And best of luck to you all and happy birthday. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow for that eight of spades day.